Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography. I'm Mark Wallace, and in this episode, we are gonna be looking at how we can use a green screen to clean up our background. Yep, I'm on a green screen right now. You probably already figured that out. And speaking of removing backgrounds and making things look nice, this episode is brought to us by AART Image Matting. It allows us to remove any background from any photo. It's fantastic for product placement or working with portraits. And so we'll get to that a little bit later. Today, we wanna to talk about this green screen. And the crazy thing is right now, I'm not in a studio. I'm not in a building. I'm in a tent. That's right, I'm on location in the middle of the desert shooting all of this battery powered in a tent. Let me show you the setup. I'm outside of Phoenix, Arizona at the Four Peaks Wilderness area. I'm in my overlanding rig, which is where I live. This is my home, if you didn't know. And so I wanna shoot some videos, but I don't wanna make it look like I'm working from a tent. So a green screen is the answer. So nothing fancy is going on here. Inside the tent, I have my green screen. It's just tied up with some string hanging from the tent itself. And then I've got two Molus X100. These are Zhuin lights, battery powered, so I don't have to have them plugged into any AC. They are also remote controlled. I'll show you that in a little bit. I have some nice uh, soft light on there. I've got some Nanlite soft boxes, Octa boxes. That's gonna give me nice, soft, even light. So I've got two of these, one on each side. And that's just gonna give us nice, soft light. Ideally, you would have light on the subject and then a different lighting setup on the background and separate the green screen from the subject. There's just not enough room to do that here. I'm shooting all this with an older camera. It works and I love it. It is my Sony ZV-1 and so I tend to stick with the gear that works for me. Let's hop inside the tent and I'll show you what's going on inside of there. There's one really cool thing I love about this. I'll open this up, zip. You can see there's nothing fancy going on here. You can see that my green screen is just tied up with some string to the top of my tent. And I go on to the other side. And also this is blue on one side, green on the other, depending on what wardrobe you're wearing or what you need to key out. So I usually use green unless I just don't, uh, I can't. And then normally the panel here is going to be closed. So I don't have anything coming in from the sun. It's just the light from these two lights. Speaking of these two lights, one of the things I love about these guys is I can remote control them from this app. So I can just click a button here, they turn off. I click a button and then they'll pop back on. Boom, boom, I can change the settings, the power levels, the color temperature, all that kind of stuff right from the app. Before we go too much further, I wanna show you AIRT Image Matting. It's a fantastic piece of software that allows you to remove the background from almost anything. Struggling with complex image backgrounds? Well, meet AIRT Image Matting, the AI-powered solution for precise background removal and seamless blending. Effortlessly remove backgrounds, even from intricate details like hair, fur, and semi-transparent objects. Perfect for e-commerce and design, AIRT's smart object recognition lets you batch process up to 3,000 images, saving you time and effort. With four specialized AI models and advanced edge refinement, achieve pixel-perfect results tailored to any image type. Customize backgrounds, adjust transparency, and enhance image quality up to 10K resolution, all within a user-friendly interface. Transform your images with AIRT Image Matting. Download your free trial today. Visit AIRT.com to get started. Clearly this is far from the ideal situation. Normally you wanna have your green screen set up in a studio or in your house or in your office somewhere that you can control things a little bit better. You wanna have a nice even illumination on the green screen. You don't wanna have any shadows, but even with all of that stuff, we can fix those things using the tools that we have in Adobe Premiere. We can use garbage mats and we can use some keying adjustments. We can do all kinds of really interesting things and it's really easy to do. So we are in the probably worst case scenario for green screen we can still make it work so let's hop over into adobe premiere and i'll show you how to do it i've already hopped into adobe premiere pro and set up a very basic project you can see i've got my main sequence here i've got this green screen footage that's pretty cheesy hi welcome to green screen industries i'm mark wallace and, and so we're going to be using that i also have some backgrounds over here if i make those into the icon view you can see we've got some pretty cheesy backgrounds perfect for this green screen demo. Now, if your interface doesn't look like mine, you might wanna go up here to the workspaces and click on Essentials. That's the workspace that I'm using. 
All right, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is choose a background. So uh, we'll just go over here and grab this first one. That's the one I used in the intro. We're gonna drag this over here to the lowest layer on the timeline. So it's at the very, very bottom. And then uh, you can see here that that doesn't fill the screen. That's okay. We can go over here to our properties panel on the right hand side and just click on fill and that works great. Now we can do some other adjustments. We'll do those a little bit later. The next thing we need to do is grab our green screen footage. We're just gonna click on that and drag it right above the background image. Now notice this background image doesn't, it doesn't have the same duration, so we can just drag that so it matches. Great. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna knock out all this green. The other thing you'll notice as I scrub through this that the green screen is being blown around by the wind. And so there are some times where we see the tent in the background. This left hand uh, corner here is moving around. Up on the right hand side over here, we've got some issues. So we've gotta be able to take that and remove that because if we just knock out the green, we're gonna see that stuff in the background. So we've gotta have a way to fix that. So let's first learn how to get rid of this green. The other thing just to notice on this green is as it's moving around being blown by the wind notice that we have some areas here that are a little bit darker a little bit lighter so we've got this gradient it's not a consistently lit screen and as it moves the luminosity of this green screen is changing so it's far from ideal but we can handle that no problem so to change this what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the left hand side and click on effects and then we're just going to type in key and we see all the different ways we can key things out and we are going to use this ultra key it's the latest greatest so we're just going to drag that right down here onto my footage and then on the right hand side we are going to click on effects controls and then make sure that you have that green screen clip uh, selected and then we see here we have ultra key so what we need to do is we need to figure out what color we're keying out. So obviously that's the green. So we'll just grab this uh, color picker here, go over and click on the green. Pow! And it pops that out. We can see though, if we look closely, we've got some issues right here. Uh, it's just not quite a clean key. You can sort of see through that. And so we need to, to fix that. Now the nice thing about Ultra Key is that we have three different settings. We have default, relaxed and aggressive so default is just after we've clicked it just takes all of the default values that normally is not perfect relaxed if i click on that you can see that we can see through the green screen we've got a lot of green bleeding through because it's relaxing the settings assuming that you have a perfectly lit green screen and so it's giving the most uh, preference to what's being in front of the green screen but that's not our situation we have the exact opposite. So we're gonna use aggressive. Aggressive assumes that the green screen is not very well lit and it's going to key out as much green as possible aggressively doing that instead of doing a relaxed looking for green. So if you have relaxed, you've got some green and maybe some clothes and in eyes or something, it's gonna leave that alone, but you have to have a perfectly lit green screen Whereas aggressive is going to knock out all of the green. But if you have any green in your outfit, well, it's going to go as well. And so the choice is yours. We also have custom. We're not going to get into that, but let me just give you a really quick preview of that. So this matte generation here, the transparency of the subject, the highlights and the shadows on the mat, uh, that can all be adjusted to really dial in how well your green screen is so you can just sort of play with these little things so that's what the uh, custom setup is so if you just want to get it perfectly right and these other settings aren't working for you you can do that so we're going to use aggressive here and fortunately that works almost all the time so if you're just doing a low value low production cost production like i am well, those settings work and it works just fine. We have one big issue. As I'm scrubbing through this, you can see, we can see outside of the edges of the mat. So we have to be able to clean that up and it's moving around. So how do we do that? Well, all we have to do is we need to put what's called a mask on our layer. We do this by going to the opacity. So we're gonna go to the opacity and then we're gonna grab this little uh, pen here. We're gonna draw a Bezier curve. So when we click on that, 
we can, in fact, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. So I'm gonna zoom this out to about 50% and I can click a point outside. I'm gonna click over here. I'm gonna click down here, click over here, click and drag, click up here and then join this loop. And so what it's gonna do is anything outside of that is going to be hidden. So any stuff on this top layer here that's outside of this area is just going to disappear. And so now as we scrub through this, we can see on the upper right, we've got to sort of fix this a little bit. So I'll grab this. Let's move this down a little bit. Got to grab, here we go, grab these handles. There we go, grab that handle, move that down. Scrub through this a little bit more. Make sure we've got everything. Yeah, looks like we do. Okay. Now we have a nice green screen. One other thing that we can do here to make this a little bit more uh, believable is we can fix the background. So I'm gonna get this uh, bottom layer here, the JPEG image. I'm gonna go to properties and then we can do some things. And so um, the Lumetri color, I'm going to uh, adjust the basic correction here. I'm gonna make this a little bit brighter. So I'll take that up by about a stop, something like that. And then the other thing is this wouldn't be totally in focus. And so we can go to creative here and um, we can add, in fact, not in creative, over here into the effects. Let's go and add a blur. So I'm gonna type in blur over here, get a Gaussian blur, drag that down. And then we can go over to our properties and then our effects controls our Gaussian blur. I'm gonna blur this by about seven. So you can see that we can blur that background out just a little bit. So about six or seven, just to give it a little bit less of a uh, focus. And that works pretty good. The other thing is I don't like this right there. So I can go into my properties. I can drag my position of this around a little bit, maybe make it a little bit larger. We can do whatever we want to this background. It's gonna work out just fine. Maybe try to match that to me. And there you have it. We have just created our first green screen. It looks great. If we don't like that background, we can just go in, grab a different uh, background. And let's drag this over a little bit. I'll just drag maybe this background in there. And there we go, now I'm at the beach. And then we'll go grab maybe this background and stick that on the background. And then here I go, I'm at a different beach. And so you can see, you wanna to try to get a background that matches the footage that you have. And so if I shot this in real life, I'd add a kicker light on the back to match the sun coming in. So that's why I chose this background because it most closely matched the lighting that I had. But that's all there is to it for easy green screen editing. I wanna say a special thanks to the channel members that make videos like this possible. We call them the Snap Family. And if you're interested in deeper dives into photography, post-production, video editing, all that kind of stuff, you might wanna consider becoming a member of this channel. You can click on the link in the description of this video for more information. Also, all of the products that are in this video, all the different lights, the green screen, all that stuff is in the description of this video. So you can click on those links. It helps to support this channel so I can make more content for you. Thanks so much for joining me. If you haven't already, make sure you click on the like, the bell, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Thanks so much, and I will see you again next time.